It's a partnership. Parents want the best for their children, and many of our families have to work, sometimes one, two, three jobs. And children nowadays are in an early childhood setting sometimes up to 10 hours a day. So by providing a quality early childhood experience, we're preparing them for school. For children who have been to a quality preschool, when they come in, the benefits for them are that they have social skills, and they have communication skills, and they've had experiences. And what I mean by that is the social skills. They're able to sit, they're able to follow directions, which is very important in kindergarten. Communication skills are important so that they can speak to me, communicate to their friends. If they have needs, wants, they need to be able to experience hands-on things, such as a sand table, a water table, their world outside, taking magnifying glasses and looking at bugs, exploring, being excited about learning and learning things on their own, and then we can channel that. I have 20 children in my classroom, and out of that 20, probably 20 to 25 percent did not attend preschool due to funding. And so those children already are a little behind, and it just makes things a little more difficult for them to come in to a classroom where other children have had these experiences and this opportunity to attend preschool. These little guys will be the ones that are in the offices and leading our country. So it's very important to invest so that we have quality teachers, that we have great resources, that we can provide scholarships and money so that families who can't afford to have their child in a quality program can and then can pursue their degree options to further the wellness of their family and their well-being. So if I had to invest in three things, I would invest in quality early learning programs, the early childhood educators, and our youngest learners. And that's critical for economic development in the state. Down, you wore his striped trousers. <laughs>